Ahoy ahoy, illegal cross here. Let's go over some leveling methods. There are many different leveling methods inside Ragnarok Online. I'll be covering a few different ones level by level. You should be able to use the video's progress bar to find the appropriate level for you. There is a cautious village quest guide and my own advanced leveling guide near the end of the video as well. Level 1 to 11. For the early levels, there isn't as many options. It's best to do the intro tutorial for the easy XP. It also gives you some free starting gear and potions as well. Alternatively, you can go to the map just below Prontera to punch some pourings. At this stage, you want to hit job level 10 so you can become your first class. Regardless of your class, starting by putting all your points into the deck stat is best, since it increases your accuracy and decreases casting times. Level 11 to 26. Around this range, you will have 10 job levels, so go to Akko 50 and talk to the job master in the bottom left corner. He will change you into your first class. Now you have two options. You can go to Warper, Dungeons, Payon Dungeon, and kill zombies until you are level 26. Or you can use Akko Eden and talk to Secretary Lime Evener to join the Eden group. If you join the Eden group, you can do board quests where you hunt specific monsters and turn in the quests for XP. Level 26 to 34. Now that you are level 26, if you have not joined the Eden group yet, do that now. Talk to Instructor Boya, she will give you an equipment quest in Payon Dungeon. Warp to Payon Dungeon with the Warper, then leave the portal near the entrance, talk to the Eden group member that is nearby. He will be the one that starts the quest for you. After finishing the quest, talk to Eden Group member once more and go back to Instructor Boya. She will tell you to talk to Administrator Michael behind the blue doors in Eden. The doors are on the right side of the room and Michael is in the room to the far right of the hallway. Talk to him and he will give you a set of basic Eden equipment. Alternatively, you could hunt Archer Skeletons and Soldier Skeletons in Floor 2 of Paeon Dungeon or do more Eden board quests. Level 34 to 40. In this range, you will want to start or continue hunting Archer Skeletons and Soldier Skeletons in Floor 2 of Paeon Dungeon, until you hit level 40 to start the next Boya quest. Alternatively, you can continue doing Eden board quests. Level 40 to 60. Now that you are level 40, talk to Instructor Boya once again for another quest. This time use Warper, Dungeons, Orc Dungeon. Go through the portal at the entrance, then on the right side of the room, you will find the Eden Group member. Talk to her to start the quest. Go outside the other portal into the Orc Village. There you will find Orc Babies and Orc Warriors that you have to hunt. Once you complete the quests, talk to the Eden Group member again, then report back to Boya. You will be able to talk to Administrator Michael once more to get the next tier of Eden Gears. Alternatively, you can hunt orc zombies until level 60, or do Eden board quests. If you are a rebirth class, one of the main 6 starting classes, you should change to your next job as soon as you hit job level 40. This is because you don't need all of your skill points until after you rebirth. Level 60 to 70. We are done doing Instructor Boya's quests, so now we will start doing Instructor Ur's quest. He can be found just beside Boya. His first quest will be a beach dungeon too. To get there, use Atgo Komodo. Then walk to the top portal. Make sure to talk to Romeo just outside the entrance to start the quest before going in. After you finish the first quest, talk to him again and he'll give you another quest. After you finish the second quest, go to the Warper, Dungeons, Beach Dungeon, Beach Dungeon 2. Then go out the portal on your right, talk to Romeo nearby, and he'll give you yet another quest. Finish that one talk to him once more, and go back to Eden to talk to Instructor Yur. You can now speak with Blacksmith Thorn behind the blue door. He's in the same room as Administrator Michael, and he'll give you a stronger Eden weapon. Alternatively, you can do Eden board quests. Level 70 to 85. This is where the Eden board quests and the Eden equipment quests will merge together. Talk to Instructor Ur to get the last equipment quest, then go to 7185 board quests and take the Evil Druid and Wraith quests. Now use the Warper and go to Glastheim St. Abbey, Warper, Dungeons, Glastheim, St. Abbey.
talk to the Eden Group member just outside the entrance, then go inside to kill Wraiths and evil druids. Once you complete all of her quests, talk to her again, and then return to Eden. Turn in the board quests, then talk to Instructor Yur one last time. Now you can go to Blacksmith Thorn to enchant your weapon. Note that Blacksmith Thorn will ask for a few items that you will need to collect in order to enchant your weapon. Now keep hunting wraiths and evil druids until you hit level 85. Level 85 to 99. You are now the minimum level to start doing Gramps quests. Gramps quests are large hunting quests that you usually do in a party. You can talk to the signboard in the top left of Eden to take the quests for your level range. Talk to Gramps to warp to the special maps. You can use slash chat to make a chat room and let people know you are looking for a party. I highly recommend not turning in your Gramps quest when you are finished. Finish them, but do not turn them in. Continue leveling in the Gramps area, do Eden board quests, or at Go Rock and kill Shotgun Buffalo Bandits on the map to the right. Once you are level 99, job level 50, you can rebirth. Note, you still have not turned in your Gramps quests. Rebirth Part 1. If you are a expanded class, being a ninja, dorium, rebel, or a taekwon class, ignore this step and continue to rebirth part 2. Go back to the job changer in the main office and rebirth. You will be changed to a level 1 high novice. Now go below Prontera, punch some pourings to get back to job level 10. Return to the job changer and become your first class again. If you are unsure on what exactly rebirthing does, it gives you extra stat points, 25% more HP and SP, as well as some extra skills when you become your transcended second class. Now we will do the Cautious Village quest. You can find that section in the video timeline near the end of the video. Complete that quest, then return back to Rebirth Part 2. Rebirth Part 2. Now you should have job level 50. If not, go kill orc zombies or evil druids until you are job level 50. Now talk to the job changer and become your second class. And finally, you can go back to Eden and turn in your Gramps quest. You do this by talking to the signboard and selecting the quest again. This should bring you to level 99, job level 69. Go inside the Gramps map and kill a few monsters to reach job 70. Then change to your third class. Level 99 to 114. Now that you have turned in the Gramps quest, you will have to wait 4 hours before you can do them again. You can choose to take a break this time and wait for the quest to be repeatable again, or you can farm at the field to the right of Echo Rock, killing shotgun buffalo bandits. Doing more Eden board quests is also fine, and you'll get rewarded with paradise coins. These can be used to buy a stronger Eden equipment. At this point, you can also start the main story quest, Use Echo Eden, then talk to the Cat Hand agent on the right side. Choose Why Don't You Get It Yourself, and then I'll help the merchants. He will ask for 50k Zenny and teleport you to the middle of the Sagrit Deserts. You can safely warp back to Eden or town with the Echo commands. Now use Echo Wo and walk to the top of Prontera. Speak with the Royal Aaron Boy to finally start the Banquet of Heroes quest. I will leave a link to the Nova Earl Banquet of Heroes page if you want further guidance in that. Level 114 to 145. In this range, you can start doing the next tier of Gramps quests. If you have done the other Gramps quest and jumped right into this level range, you can take this quest right away. The 4 hour cooldown applies to each quest specifically and is not shared between them all. As always, you can also do Eden board quests as an alternative. Once you hit the level 120 mark, Transcendent classes can start using the Thanatos weapons from the Ghost Palace instance, and it is recommended to get them. There are some Illusion dungeons you can also do for some quest XP. Illusion of Moonlight at level 100, Illusion of Frozen at level 110, and Illusion of Vampire at level 130. Level 145 to 175. This range lets you join the third bracket of Gramps quests. As always, you can do Eden board quests as an alternative. You also gain access to Illusion of Abyss at level 150, Illusion of Teddy Bear at 150, and Illusion of Luanda at level 160, and Illusion of Labyrinth at 170. Do the Illusion of Luanda quests every day since they give a large amount of experience. At this point, I suggest joining instances for the XP rewards at the end. 
You can usually find parties just outside the entrances to most instances. Level 175 to 185. Now you can access the final Gramps quest. This Gramps range is much more difficult than lower ones, and you will almost certainly need a party. As usual, you can do Eden board quests and instances for experience. These levels are a bit more limited on places to level up, and it starts getting a bit grindier to progress. Though at level 180, you can enter the Einbeck 3 and Odin's Past 4 dungeons. Level 185 to 200. Continue doing Gramps quests whenever you get the time to, as well as Illusion of Luanda dailies, and do instances for experience. At level 190, you can enter the Abyss Lakes 4 dungeon. Cautious Village Quest. To start this quest, move to Port Malaya, or at Go Malaya. Step 1, speak with Rodel the guard near the docks. Step 2, speak with leader Fong the Mumbaki. He will mark everyone's location on your minimap. Step 3, speak with old man Nardo. Step 4, speak with collection dealer Wowion. Step 5, speak with Pedro the sailor. Step 6, speak with blacksmith Pandoy. Step 7, speak with Tella and her dad Rommel. Step 8, after speaking with all of the NPCs, return to leader Fong. Suggest to him that you should hand out holy water and blue gemstones. Now you have to go back and talk to everyone again, but you'll need to bring out holy water and a blue gemstone for each of them. Step 9, return to leader Fong one last time. He will give you a ton of experience as a reward. I will leave the link to a wiki page in case you want a more in-depth guide. Advanced Leveling Guide This is mainly for the purpose of making multiple alternate characters. I personally use this to rush my characters to high levels. Step 1, start by doing the tutorial quests to get easy experience. Step 2, change jobs in the main office. Step 3, buy a Scaraba summoning scroll and buy a handful of fly wings. You can also buy a field manual to speed up the process. Step 4, go to Rock Ridge with at Go Rock and walk to the field on the right side. Let your Scaraba kill shotgun buffalo bandits. Make sure not to get targeted by monsters. You will die in one shot and lose your Scaraba. If you are targeted, fly wing as fast as possible to avoid the attack. Step 5, change to your second class at job level 40. Step 6, go back to the field and when you become level 99, job level 50, rebirth. Step 7, kill a few pourings in hidden dungeon entrance to get job level 10. Step 8, change to your first job, then return to Rock Ridge Field once again. This time, change to your second class at job level 50. Step 9, at level 99 slash 70, become your third class. Step 10, continue killing bandits until around level 110. From this point on, you will need some gears to be able to level efficiently. Step 11, move to Atgo Varus. Enter the top portal and kill robots until around level 130. Step 12, go to Eden, Atgo Eden, and take the pedal and men black quests. To find them, go to Warper, Dungeons, by Frost Tower, exit the portal. Take item gathering quests for fast experience as well. Step 13, at level 150, go to Illusion Abyss Dungeon, the turtle one, use Fire Element and farm on floor 1. Step 14, at level 160, do the Illusion of Luanda daily quests, then farm the mobs until around level 170. Step 15, this is where leveling starts to die down, you can join instance parties and do gramps, or whatever you can find until level 180. Step 16, at level 180, join a experience leeching party until level 200. These parties you AFK while someone in the party farms. Then give the loot you get to them at the end to pay for the leveling leech. You can also join bio 5 parties as well. Note that these leeching parties only work in places like Angbeck 3, Odin's Past 4, and Abyss Lakes 4 any of the level 200 dungeons. That's all I have on leveling. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel, share it with friends, and I'll see you in the next video.